Hello, Crimson speaking. Welcome to Fable 3, Part 1. Hope you enjoy. Of course. The Prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. Fight against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? <sighs> what a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. <laughs> I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activity. All right, I like dressing like Nodder. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Ah, 
splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. Yes, boss. And I would Very recommend much. avoiding. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. Prince. Greetings, sir. I trust you're well, sir. Hello, Prince. Hello. Greetings, Your Highness. I oh, don't know who. Who. Hello. Oh, how are you, my Prince? Oh, my salutation. My lord. Oh, brave knight, have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. To man, do man's dog like that, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Please don't. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sonic on speed, kissing. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such I'll terrible take stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. Staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Everyone's waiting no. for you. No. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I, can't I think. Can't believe you could want to talk at the same well, time. I can't there's something wrong with him. <laughs> He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. I told Sir Walter Man, about the speech. You. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. My lord. The chicken run, chicken. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Speak shit, evil. No, I'm joking. I'm gonna be a good guy. I'm just gonna help it. You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's oh, training? Take good care of him, Walter. Yeah. The girl was a stuck an invisible door then. I suppose you've heard me? the rumours then. The girl don't fucking up, me. Well, I'm yeah, even the prince, me. <laughs> Who knows what your brother will do next? Fucking hell. In the meantime, the mood prince in the castle me. is getting more uneasy by the day. My lord. Fucking teleport through walls, not here. people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? 
We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. But it would be the greatest honor. I have a family to support. If anything happens to me... I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. I can't believe it. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress to these puffs. Fight! Good, good! Ouch! Good hit! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. It's time you showed me what you've got. Don't use the sword. Let it strike of its own will. Ha-ha! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen. There's something... Walter! You have to come quickly! Both of you! What happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls! I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep Albion free! We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. Uh, my frappers now is on your head, love. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> what? Leave her alone. I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. 
Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. You said it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done. And that I love you. Take the girl away. Kill her now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think any of us realize just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough, and strong enough, this is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Don't want to become famous, but thank you anyway. Who are you? I am 
Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Oh yeah. There is it. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum. And the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. a plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I never did one, but it works out well. Other than that, the castle father I know, which I only approve of often. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight, but they need a leader, someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. Well, I think we're gonna be there. Stone sewers. Very well. Oh, you might want to cover your eyes too, Jasper. 
More bats. I to exterminate a few more bats. Well, you certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we proceed? Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. It appears to be a dead end. Not quite. What is that? What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there, just like that. Oh. It worked! Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, Please, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's I'm taken control of these mountains room. and started really destroying its place. forests. I, I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we'll we need to convince is slow. Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man like and a good fight. leader. He Maybe won't give his allegiance him. easily. Especially Please to a prince. Us. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes?
I ever get home. Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. Please help us. Let's go. There's no food. I'd go up to the castle right now and kill you. You come from the city, from Bowerstone, haven't you? Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step two, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which... There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well... I told you, he'd take some convincing. Come on. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple <laughs> folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Balder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds intriguing. I'd heard rumors, of course, but none other than heroes have lived to speak of it. You...
Nice. No? I can't feel John. Seen it first, but it's mine. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Don't know what that screen was. <laughs> it's a lot of hot and cold screen. You should know. Digging spot, nice. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. No gold, nice. I'm gonna try and save up all my gold and start buying property. Grilled dog, <laughs> my wolves, canine. Mm, it's a beer. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm. I'm assuming the big hole there, right there, is where we're digging. Oh no, we're not. I assume gone, clearly. Nice and jet. I don't care if they were starving or hungry, why didn't you just kill the wolves and eat them? Right, where's this gold line at? Oh, here we go. <laughs> that found them something else, has it? <gasps> Treasure. Treasure. Oh, there it is. I found it first, bitch. What is it now? Take a spot, nice. Have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. 
about new. I hope everything is in order. Do the Highland way, Highlander. Utterly magnificent. There's a theory that tattoos primarily appeal to those with the least stability in their lives. You know, sailors, soldiers, artists, senseless takers. Yeah, Any other? Any other shits going on? Nope. Don my class. I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would term them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> oh, sweet papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the holy walkmark, the guild seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero king last came here. Oh, then you are the prince. Yes. Oh my! Uh, please come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how you would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it.
let's find some more books. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing... This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, that sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose. Later.
there had a feeling of anymore okay hi boy hello so all you got now ah that's all of them now. that's all of them so that should be sorted what's up Ah, oh, it's behind the ball in it, treasure chest or something. Go show me, I knew it. Come on, boy. Go show me anyway. <laughs> that chest I wanted. Gold. Oh, all this gold I'm saving. I haven't got a gun yet. Spamming moves. I'll let you do. Oh, there you go. Grave salads. Should an uncle or something or auntie or whatever. Put your parents at the beginning. Fucking hell no. Them loads of stuff. Have you seen more of them just family really? This is like the old heroes. Hello. Ah, uh, hello. were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them. The pistol. Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, 
Experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Rifles are slower to fire than pistols. So it's supposed to. Open it before he comes down and claps me. Why are you dead? Come on. What? This is it. We'll do anything. Anything here, dog? Yeah. Congratulations, hero. 
Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on this the is throne, me. Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. For me, mate. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done. And nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater. And we will be stronger. No matter what sacrifices we must make. If any part of you still Amen. doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally. For you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man. And his people are strong. Oh, not me. Quest to level up and shit. <laughs> An Albion girl. Always gets oh. ah. Blessed index cards. You made it. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion. As a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. Imagine what I could do if I had a few coins. I could buy a loaf of bread. Oh, I could buy two loaves of bread. Oh, if you get so. Hear 
they need a new sword. Got a question, or maybe you're just browsing? Cheers. I appreciate it. You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. Come with me. One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweight, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Oh. Lovely. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Yeah, the Holloman didn't count as a real battle, did it? No. No. Colour. You have any questions? Just ask. Fuck off. Thanks for Ooh, that. Bitch. Pleasure doing business with you. Gotta do this for what? Okay. <coughs> so X is Great X. Pie. Oh. You won't find anything better in all of Brightwall than the stuff I'm selling right Wonders. here. That's some tasty work. You won't regret it. Brilliant. Keep them coming. Best establishment in Brightwall. Wonderful dough work. Just get enough so I can get the gloves. I might keep that one for myself. Pie of the day, I reckon. Sublime. Sublime. Mmm, sublime. Can I cut down look? Here, pie. Quality pie making, that. A gift for that someone special? Hey, that was uh. my favourite rolling pin. Fuck off. I love your technique. What oh, slow? Mmm, <laughs> 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 pie. pie making perfection. That's one hell of a pie. Pie of the decade. Only time will tell. I like cut G. 
Oh, that's a good pie. Things have never been worse here. Sure, mate. Oh, might have that for pudding tonight. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Welcome to my shop. This one right, thanks. Do come back now. Do come back now. Back off. <laughs> I got my loot. Best establishment in Brightwall. Yes, it goes out to you, man. By helping me, you're helping yourself. But don't think about it too. Oh. Oh. I won't. <laughs> don't think about it too much. Really fucking won't love. Don't think. That's the problem. This one goes out to you, baby. Yeah. I'll do one more then Imagine I'll just go what I could do if I had a few coins I could buy a loaf of bread Ooh, oh, always too. look out for sale. oh she's talking shit there saying right she could have like money for bread yeah I'm doing work for money why the fuck don't she do it Expensive, but it's worth it. Let's see what we can do for you. You're paying top gold for a top quality item. It appears you have all the required ingredients for your distasteful mercenary disguise. You may return to the sanct. Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. Perfect. You look dangerous and devoid of all human decency already. Now, for the tattoo. The beard and the tattoo are splendid. You're just missing one thing. The mercenary outfit. Ah, yes. Which you said had stains in it. Mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Saker, haven't you? A sex symbol? Who the fuck said that? It's supposed to be a sex symbol. Oh, bitch. I don't fucking remember. Oh, fuck off. Biological children. I have none. I should have loads on, let them all fight out for the throne.
another thing. I'll just sell that. Dog just jumps in the water. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family oh, business. Blows, the West. Well, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. I I saw it wasn't really feasible again. after I killed him. Oh, Jim. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Jimmy, over here, mate. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. I'm coming over in a minute. Fucking hell, give me a second. Mate. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do. You know, the thing. What thing? Oh, go on. <laughs> Find the dead boy. The dead. It's okay. They say. Was up here. Can I show me? Oh, there's a chest there as well. Tattoo makes you look tough, don't you?
kan. Elke keer als ik net iets heb, dan wordt dat niet wat. Ik ben weer uit. Protected. Jimmy impersonator! Oh. Personator! But just start petting you, dog, yeah. Oh, 
Now to roll two. <laughs> Block there, we'll see if we can pick it up in a minute. The thing is, I have not killed him. That's the funny thing, I've not killed Jim. Now see if we can pick up that book. I can sleep on that though. Right, so I'll not be able to pick that book up. Okay, no. a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. It's yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise.
Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! Pit slapped him. <laughs> Fuck out my face! Got myself a new bitch. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. Let's open some chests, give me some food. I'll just get some shit. Better not have nothing, I suppose. What am I doing this way? What's that? Part there. Part there. Part of something, that's what I need. Ah, oh, fuck. Momentous occasion, sir. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brighton, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Oh fuck did I miss that? Too late dog mate, I already spotted it. Sir Walter is still waiting for you in the Brightwall Tavern. He seems to have become rather... ingredient of our famous silver hen ale. I find it lent Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. Yeah, we were talking about fucking ale. Toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But, were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. 
I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned Pardon me for overhearing. an excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will explain. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate This is terrible. Right, you'll need this. You've a new suit in your I'm wardrobe. A, a new yep. feathery suit. You're dressed as a chicken. What are you... What, what? Most people think chickens are very, very crap. That was done. Terrific! We're gaining the initiative. Go on! There are still more out there. <laughs> well done. Don't stop now. The others will be stopped. I'll be honest mate, when I get money on this mate, I ain't gonna be a good guy for a bit.
That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Oh, is how you make a chicken a martyr? <laughs> oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It's the right thing to do. Dare I say, you're not likely to get much further without... You, good sir. You who live in such a tumultuous epoch. Ah, you will find the legendary lost play. Splendid. Finally. Tragedy and comedy. Turn back now, mortal one. Okay, got a box, let's go. Stay away from this accursed place. Only death. And insanity await you. Don't pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, Putting on this costume should set things in motion. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living? Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. 
show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. The fork. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. It's too funny. I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theater, I wonder? Oh dear, unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, part two. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act Five, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus! Thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold as your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. You're a bloody beggar, aren't you, boy? What are you doing fighting the likes of us? Great blow! Well, what's so up? Can't deal with me, Northern Boss and Overfenton. Missed, so up yours. Stop producing our boys, you moot faced buffoon! What a thrust! Done with such skill. More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live. You have breathed your last sulfur-scented breath, Titus. Ah, you made a big mistake. 
Titus has fallen! Vengeance is mine at last! But what is yonder scar upon his cheek? No, it cannot be. He was my son! Oh, woe and wretched misery! I am undone! My heart breaks with grief! It has beat its last! Adieu, unkind world! Adieu! A tremendous performance. For a moment, I believed you truly had passed on. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? You have brought such depth of meaning to my words, I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing book. play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy We're day! Saved, have you perchance found? Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank bosom. you a million <laughs> times! <laughs> His head bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands! Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death all softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replied the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say, Great big giant bosom. What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever.
Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gate. Uh, I have no doubt that the people of Brightwall will save end it. up following you. Merely show them what you are capable of, and they cannot fail to become your supporters. Um, thank you for watching my stream. Um, God bless and take care. Thank you.